just left the grocery store. I'm sorry about the vibrating and the AC and everything. I just barely got ahead of that parade. There are so many people out setting up like blankets and chairs and stuff to watch it. Like I truly probably just barely missed it. It's 1044. I guarantee you it's starting at like 11. So I got lucky in that respect. But let's talk about something. Let's talk about the fact that I took two steps into the grocery store, which also, by the way, Giant Eagle, where I live, is like way more expensive than everywhere else. I got like five things and it was $35. Yeah, um, it, it's way more expensive than anywhere else, but I'm not going to Aldi and I'm not going to Walmart. I can't do it by myself right now. Um, I take like two steps in and there's this lady, there's this like older lady and an even older lady, like the, the lady had who had been in her 70s. Um, and I get two steps past the lady in her 70s, I assume. And I see out of the corner of my eye that she makes some sort of motion towards me and they both start laughing out loud. And the younger lady said something like yeah no thanks or something like that and I'm like oh my god I just got bullied by somebody that's the same age as my grandmother in public in 2023 but then there's this guy that works there that I went to high school with um I went all through junior high and high school with him being uh like maybe a grade above me and he works there and he's worked there for years he saw it I looked up and he was standing there um, and the look he had on his face was like he felt bad for me. Like he saw that and he feels bad for me. Uh, <laughs> like it was a look like, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened look, but like he looked sad for me. And I'm like, I am fucking, thir I'm basically 34 years old. I'll be 34 on August 19th. I'm basically fucking 34 years old and I'm out here being fucking bullied. I'm out here being fucking bullied. And it's really funny to me because my dad says that he doesn't think anything of the way that I look. And it's probably because I've looked like this since I was 12 years old. Uh, but he thinks that other people are more accepting because in this day and age, it's nothing to see, you know, a person with you know, pink hair and tattoos and piercings and stuff like that. Um, and that he's happy about that because it means that I have an easier time moving in public. And he's like, I, I wouldn't be nervous to go in public if I looked like you because, you know, people are more accepting. <laughs> Not always. Mm -hmm. Not always, my dear. Not always. Somebody, my neighbors are such... Ugh, when it comes to parking. Oh, they're so bad about it. All right, we're home. We're home. Now I gotta stop recording in front of my neighbor's pool. The bubbles on this are fucking weird. Look at it. Mm-hmm. I just woke up from a nap and frantically started shoveling in food uh, because <laughs> I have blood work. I have to get in the morning and I have to fast for 12 hours. Uh, I Tomorrow is the last day that I can do it. I have known about this blood work for three months and tomorrow is the last day that I can do it according to my, my chart uh, because I kept fucking it up. I kept forgetting that I had to fast and like mindlessly going and getting uh, like food or something and, and being like, I, after I already took like three bites being like, oh shit, I'm supposed to be fasting. I don't have, I, I can't do that. 
tomorrow is my last opportunity to get it done before my next appointment. And then I have to fast tonight for 12 hours and then um, the next day, nothing at all, including water or anything after midnight for my liver ultrasound. So it's two days of hell. It's actually not that bad, but still. Actually, the, the liver fasting uh, one is always pretty bad because I can't have gum, I can't have water, I can't nothing nothing at all um i can at least have water for this 12 hour one but i for fucking months kept forgetting i kept forgetting like i'd be like all right i'm gonna go do it tomorrow and i would get like a couple of hours into it and get hungry and eat something and be like oops we're not gonna do that this time i took a nap and also I want to be able to sleep because I feel like it'll be so much easier if I sleep through the majority of it, you know what I mean? Um, so I had my caffeine this morning when I first woke up and I was like, I'm not going to have any more because usually I have caffeine at like 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning and then more caffeine between like 11 and noon and then more caffeine around 3 or 4. I was like, I'm not going to have any more caffeine today I to help me sleep but my fucking god it's been hard to stay awake I just napped for I don't even know how long and I'm tired I'm still tired I gotta get my Dr. Pepper zero sugar down I've got 15 minutes before I've got to put it down and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna chuck it across the room and forget about it just kidding I'll give it to Epps or something I don't know what I'm gonna do I'd sleep I think I might take some sleeping medication and sleep, but I'm, I'm going to do my nails because I haven't had any on in a few days and I'm starting to feel weird about it. I, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. Sleep? Sleep. Yeah. It, fasting for 12 hours is not that hard when it's something that you want to do, but when somebody else tells you that you have to do it, you're like, oh, really? At least me, though. I know that they're all torn up in the package, but I have wanted to put these on for so long and there's like no matches and they're all way too big for me. I, ugh, that sucks. I know so many people that say that they would wear press-ons, but they, uh, their nail beds are too big. Well, I found a pair that you can wear, just buy two of them. Uh, because there's no fucking match. I'm so sad. I've wanted to wear these for so long. And I finally sat down to do them. I have wanted to put this particular set on for so long. They're a dud. Next, I just got done watching a vlog. I have been finding like these random like small vloggers like myself. And watching their content and being like, okay, I get it. Like, honestly, I get it. Because I'm like, who the fuck wants to watch me? I have the most mundane life. But I've been watching other people that are not famous and not wealthy just, like, live their life. Like, lay in bed and talk to their phone or their camera with their hair messy at, like, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm like, I get it. I honestly don't realize how much I hide my hands because I'm embarrassed of my nails without, like, my hands without nails on them until I go a few days without press-ons and then I'm like, back all up in your face again. It's because I'm embarrassed. Like, when I don't, when I don't have press-ons on, I'm embarrassed. And people take that personally, but it's like, no, that is, that is sheerly and purely a fucking me issue. I started getting acrylic nails 10 years ago. It was when Mr. D was born 10 years ago. Um, and then I, when I got out of a relationship with his dad, which was fairly quickly, I wasn't with him for very long. I couldn't afford to continue to get acrylic nails. So I had to learn how to put press-ons on so that they would last for a week or longer. And I have just worn them ever since. And when I don't have them on, it makes me really self-conscious. It's like people who wear hair extensions all the time or makeup all the time. When you don't have it on, you feel exceptionally self-conscious. I will say that doing YouTube has helped me a lot with my confidence without makeup because before YouTube, I would not leave the house without makeup on. I haven't worn makeup in a few days. I wanted to put some on today, but my face is so broken out and I'm so tired that I'm just like, I want to do some tomorrow. Which reminds me, Pat bought me 
Glitter Henna. And I have been watching so many videos online about henna so that I can learn how to use it because my big, huge, giant fucking fear is that I'm going to mess it up. Like she bought this for me from overseas and had it shipped to my house. And I'm like, if I, and if, if I go to use this and I fuck it up, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I really think that Epps would be really, really good at it because he's really good at like patterns and stuff like that. But I'm terrified that I'm going to like fuck it up in like the mixing process or something like that. Like I'm terrified of messing it up. Like so terrified that I literally binge watch henna videos and like hype myself up and think I can do it. I can do it. And then I get terrified. I'm going to do it. I'm eventually when I stop being, I'm so terrified that I'm gonna fuck it up. I'm so terrified that I'm gonna like ruin the henna and then it's like all that money and the time and stuff is for nothing for her. Why, well, like, I love to overthink things to the point that I like ruin my own day. But also, do you wanna see my nails? It took me four fucking ever. The reason that I brought up the vlog thing was because I was watching a vlog while I was doing this. So I sat here with a file and I was filing down these nails because I wanted these three on both hands to be different. This is a strawberry, a blue heart, and a cactus in a mug, like a cup. And this one is a flower in a heart-shaped vase, a peach that kind of looks like a heart, and then like a heart with a sunset in it. It took me so fucking long to file these bitches down so that I can have a different one on each finger. But you know what? If you're going to be poor and balling on a fucking budget, you got to be crafty. <laughs> that one did make it. You're so cute, baby. It's, so dumb, it's their first ever time seeing fireworks. <laughs> Stop it. Our, okay, it's recording. Is it recording? Yeah, I accidentally stopped it and then recorded it again. Ready? Yeah. Get back! Get back! Okay, I have several things that I want to talk about and I swear to God if I get going and I look up and it asks me about my Wi-Fi hotspot, I'm gonna cry because that means that it will, will not have been recording and also I feel like I have toothpaste on my face. And that would be my fucking luck. Um, anyways, so yesterday we took the boys to watch fireworks with no proof that there was ever any fireworks. I swear to you, Mr. E's dad, like we took the boys where we took them yesterday for fireworks. We took them when they were little, like maybe twice. And every year, Mr. E's dad is like convinced that they're gonna do it again. Cause they used to do it every year, but they stopped back in like 2019 because of budget cuts. And we're sitting there and I'm like, dude, there's nothing anywhere that says that there's going to be fireworks. There was like a couple other people down there um, who obviously were kind of hoping for fireworks as well. But like I was looking all over Facebook. I Googled it. I looked at like the city website. I was like, dude, I swear to you that this got cut out of the budget years ago. And I was right. There was no fucking fireworks. So, uh, Epps went and got this firework from Walmart called the Hoot. <laughs> they're $13 and they're fucking huge. And the thing with living in Ohio is you can't use uh, fireworks that come off of the ground. At least the last time I checked, your fireworks have to stay on the ground. Uh, I guess to prevent 
catching shit on fire. Well, this, this firework stays on the ground, but it goes up so high. We've done one twice. That I had to like find the perfect spot in the backyard that it wasn't gonna hit the power line. So I had to put it really, really close to the pool. I was like, I guess if the pool catches on fire, it's full of water, like old water, but it's full, like, you know, I didn't want to knock out the fucking power for the whole neighborhood, but he, he swore to me up, down, and fucking sideways that there was going to be fireworks. I was like, dude, there's no fucking fireworks. There has not been fireworks in years. In fact, I think the last time that they did fireworks, they went out with like a literal bang because they knew that they were never going to do it again. Like they were like, this is the last year that we're doing this. We don't have it in the budget anymore. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. <laughs> Sometimes I know what I'm talking about. We still watched fireworks. Uh, people were lighting them off across the river. Like, so we were watching them just go off randomly throughout the city, but we had sparklers and everything like that. I feel like this is the longest 4th of July of my fucking life. Because it landed on a Tuesday, people started celebrating on Friday. So it just feels like it's it's the 4th of July that never fucking ends. But also I want to talk to you guys about something that I'm going to try to not scream at the top of my lungs cackling about. And I'm so lucky that this worked out in my fucking favor. So last night, I can't sleep the night before I know I have something to do. So last night I took sleeping medicine at around 10 p.m. maybe, no not 10 p.m., around 11 p.m. Well, come about midnight, my ass was down in the kitchen eating. I swear to God, I felt drunk, I felt high, I didn't know where her, who I was or where I was, and I ended up eating our fucking fasted, like three hours into said fast. I was texting my husband that I wanted to buy a whole rotisserie chicken and eat it in the fucking Giant Eagle parking lot with my bare hands because I was starving. I was like, I have to go to sleep. I have to fucking fall asleep or I'm, this is, I'm, I'm not going to make it. I was absolutely right. I delusionally fucking went into <laughs> the kitchen and started shoveling food and I wasn't thinking about it at all. So I got a hold of the nurse this morning and she was like, just do it tomorrow. She said, uh, I said, I have an ultrasound tomorrow. She said, just do it after your ultrasound. Like, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I, I swear whenever, like I used to do like IF and stuff. When I would do that, like fasting for 12 hours was not that big of a deal. When somebody tells me that I have to do it, I'm like, bitch. <laughs> Anyways. I woke up this morning and I started thinking about like me like acting like a fucking drunk person in the goddamn kitchen. <laughs> I ate cottage cheese, peanut butter, and two pieces of sausage and like nobody was gonna fucking stop me. Like nobody was gonna stop my fucking stupid ass. That's so embarrassing. Oh my god. Should I waited around my house for this place to open up and they've been open for an hour and a half. I'm not joking you. I went to get out and realized I had to turn my radio off and I was like, bitch, did you just sit here and vlog with the radio on? Did you just put your channel at risk for a copyright strike? Not a claim, a strike. I watched all of my footage that I filmed on the way here back and I think my background music covers it up enough that I won't get a claim or a strike. Uh, I might get demonetized this video. I don't know. In other good news, this is the place that Epps and I were eating in that my wig was pushed back and you could see the, not only could you see my lace, you could see my wig cap. And Epps didn't say anything because I don't know why. And I'm like, mm, maybe she won't recognize me. I walk in there and she's like, do you have a punch card? She recognizes me. That's nightmarish. This is my fucking nightmare. It's like on par with the Google Earth Street View camera that came by my house and I was standing on my fucking front lawn looking like a goddamn cryptic.
All right, I just got home. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I literally just sat here and watched this whole thing back and my, my, my Jeep's really starting to heat up. I got a little red fight. All right, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye.